Diablo Immortal. Diablo Immortal was announced way back in 2018. So ang mobile game version, and it was a pinakasikat na hackers na action role-playing game sa PC na Diablo franchise. Pretty much the same ang gagawin dito gaya ng PC version ng game na to. Questing, bind, loot, hunt, pick boss, and collect rare gears. I'm not so sure though kung ito ay magiging open world or co-op ang magiging gameplay ng version na to. There are 6 character classes in this game. Barbarian, Monk, Wizard, Demon Hunter, Crusader, and Technomancer. Kung familiar ka sa Diablo franchise sa mga MMORPG character classes, pretty much may idea ka na kung ano-ano ang nagkaiba ng mga classes na yan at kung anong class ang pipiliin mo pag na-release ng game. There's not much information yet regarding the gameplay, in-app purchases, or release date. It was announced though by Blizzard, ang publisher ng Diablo franchise, way back I think in February sa isang game conference na wala ng game na i-release this 2019. Mabinogi Fantasy Life is the mobile version of the popular Mabinogi PC version in South Korea. Matagal na na-release ang PC game na to by Nexon as publisher. Almost 16 years na sa South Korea. It was announced last year, 2018, na magkakaroon ito ng mobile version. This is an open world full-scale MMORPG. Pwede ka mamili na maging mage, musician, alchemist, warrior, at archer. Some classes are yet to be unlocked. And same with other MMOs ang gagawin dito which is questing, may main and side quest, grind, hunt, wear, and upgrade gears then. There is a PvP arena challenge where you can choose your opponent depending sa firepower or combat power nila. May real-time PvP din ito. Mabinogi mobile version is now officially released in Southeast Asia region since December 4, 2019. The game size is around 1 GB plus. Pwede nyo na itong ma-download sa Play Store and Apple Store. Black Desert Mobile As of now, may 4 million pre-registered accounts na ang site nila and may pa events sila sa Facebook page where they are giving away physical items dahil sa milestone ng 4 million free registrations. To have a chance to win these items, just go to their Facebook page. Now, like some other games with the PC version, this is Black Desert's own mobile version. This is also an MMORPG full-scale open world game. There are 5 classes of game na to. Warrior, Witch, Ranger, Giant, and Valkyrie. Sumikat din si Black Desert sa customization features and characters at magkakaroon din ito sa mobile version. The mobile version offers light skills gaya ng fishing, foraging, trading, and managing your camp. The game will also feature a guild system, weather changing environment, pets, and town building system, and of course, PvP challenge arena. Kung mahilig ka mong solo adventure at hunt sa malalawak ng maps, so this game is for you. Double One is on December 11, 2019. Yep, it's here now. And you can now pre-register to fight the home. of Dragon Nest. If you remember, Dragon Nest is one of the most successful lowly or chibi MMO na na-release a PC platform way back March 2010. Then, with the ever-changing games market, they created a mobile version of Dragon Nest M. 
which is for me was not that successful because as experienced in game, naging cash cow ang game na to and was received negatively by its player base dahil nga sa talamak ng in-app purchases. Then, by base, Nexon announced that this year supposedly he released a World of Dragon Nest, which is an MMO open world. However, due to planning and in-game contents that have yet to meet their standards, they moved the release date to 2020. Kind of excited tayo dito, so this is something new to Dragon Nest gameplay. Also was announced, may bagong class sila na i-release, which is the Slayer. Dual Blade and Daggers ang weapon, and DPS class po ito under the race of half dragon, half humans. Hmm, mga Targaryens? They can also transform into their dragon form when using their ultimate skill. World of Dragoness still has same features like the PC version that will be maintained as a mobile version like the pet and mount system, costumes, and guild. They will also feature a friendship system where you can be BFF with your favorite NPCs and get daily rewards. The global release is on January 8, 2020, both in iOS and Android. Naruto Slugfest Cubinet has acquired publication rights to the new and only 3D open world MMO of Naruto. You can now pre-register your accounts to site Naito. I just recently attended the Naruto Slugfest media and community gathering at nakakuha tayo ng mga useful information regarding the game. Sa previous na alpha test, may 4 classes na na-introduce atin, Ranger, Phantom, Sport, at Tank. They may release more classes as the game continues to grow. One of the most unique features in game nato ay ang interactive environment kung saan pwede ka tumalon-talon sa mga bubong, tumakyat sa mga puguno, at postay or umupo lang sa bench. As announced din sa event, we have to collect and drop gears. The items can be upgraded, but you need to be careful sa upgrading. Dahil ang weather changing feature with day and night effects ay pwede maka-apekto sa crafting and upgrading ng items. Ibig sabihin, nakadepende sa timing ng oras at mood ng weather ang success rate. That's why number one po sa listahan ang Naruto Slugfest dahil isay po sa mga unique features nila na never ko pa na-encounter sa ibang MMOs. Like other MMOs, may main and side quest na ito to open more features in the game and will give you more rewards. If you want to immerse yourself sa mundo ng anime at mag-adventure dito ang ninja style, then this game is for you. The game will be released in CDP base on January 2020.